All right, this one comes in anonymously. Thank you for the question. The question this time is, how do I get out of the victim mindset where I feel like I'm just living in response to the negative things that other people are doing? This is something that, that I think we've all felt at one time or another. And one of the ways to dig yourself out of it is to remember that the things that you feel are absolutely real. The situation that you're in, the relationships that you're in, the stuff that other people do, these are all real things. They're factual. But you know, there's a difference between the facts and the truth. The things that people do are the absolute end of a very long creative process. And if you dwell in that realm of effects rather than cause, it's very difficult to make a real change. Everything you do when you're dealing with effects is really going to be kind of a band-aid. And sometimes it works really good, but most of the time it doesn't. The facts of your situation can change, but the truth never does. So to the degree that you can find the truth in your situation, the facts tend to get better. And no matter what it is that you're going through, no matter how you're feeling right now, no matter what kind of stuff is happening, the truth of the universe and the truth about you and me is growth and evolution and love and healing. The universe has a way of taking care of its own. And sometimes that truth shines through in the facts of your existence. When things are going very well, the reason it feels good is because your situation, the facts of you, are mirroring the truth. It feels like growth, feels like love, feels like that kind of a thing. And then sometimes it doesn't feel so good. It doesn't feel like growth. It feels like stagnation and so on and so on and so on. The frustration that you feel, the friction that you feel is the disconnect between facts and truth. And you can take that negative feeling and dwell in it and live in it and fight with it and deny it and all of that kind of stuff and it doesn't do any good at all. Or you can use that energy you feel to try to figure out how to get back to the cause, to how to get back to the truth behind the facts. The stuff that's going on, whether it's easy or hard, is there to help you to grow. Because that's the thing. There's no accidents in the universe. You're going to grow one way or another. You're going to grow easy way or hard way. I recommend the easy way. And you know, sometimes there's lessons that you've had that you have just sailed through. You've just learned it the easy way. But you know, the universe has a way of turning up the volume. When you or I don't get a lesson in a particular way, sometimes life can make it a little bit more intense, a little bit more difficult so that we really pay attention. One way or another, you're going to grow. And if you want to stop learning the hard way, if you want to stop learning things in the way that feels like the victim way to go about things, start paying attention to the easy lessons. Life is trying to tell you about love. Life is trying to get you to be honest and true. Life is trying to help you find passion. And you're going to find it easy way or hard way. So start finding it the easy way. Start praising the beautiful things in your life right now. There's something going on that reminds you of love and growth and truth. Find those things. Pay attention to them because as we always say, we increase what we praise. You get more of what you pay attention to. And to the degree that you start paying attention to and being passionate about the positive experiences, the negative stuff, the victim stuff will tend to go away and you will start to feel more and more in charge because you're getting more and more in touch with cause. Look, at a certain level, it doesn't matter why people do the things that they do. You can't ever really know anyway. And the truth is, it probably doesn't have anything to do with you at all. Most people are too busy just taking care of their own business to have any kind of master plan about victimizing anybody else. Most people are just too busy to be thinking in those terms. But one way or another, it doesn't matter why somebody did what they did. What matters is what are you going to do about it? You can respond with frustration and pain and you can respond with all kinds of negativity, but that doesn't make it better. It gets you further from cause. Or you can respond with love because that's the way the world works. And to the degree that you act like the universe acts, to the degree that you take care of your own, to the degree that you show the world what love looks like, you get out of victim mode and you get into hero mentality. And that's who you really are. Thanks for being who you are, and thanks for sending in these questions. Thank you for subscribing to these videos and sharing them with everybody. Share the videos with everybody. But most of all, thank you for going to facebook.com slash Randolph and clicking on that like button. It means a lot. Take care of yourself.